Welcome to the demo of the Vordell API Server Analytics. Analytics is an important part of the Vordell API Server platform. Analytics is accessed through a simple web browser interface using any browser. Here we see the traffic going through our API servers. We see the successes and the failures. We can choose different timescales to look at our traffic going through the API servers. And we can also add different items to the analytics reports. Adding to the successes and failures, we can also add CPU usage. We can also add SLA breaches. We select SLA breaches, then that gets added as a component within our report. You see there's no SLA breaches over the time we've selected. You can see the analytics across different instances of the API server. You can also zoom in on specific timescales, as we're doing here, if you want to zoom in and pinpoint a certain time and see the traffic at that time. Here, you can see in real time, the information is shown as you zoom around the chart. That's the system traffic. Now, if we look at API services, we see the different APIs which are under the control of our API server. Here, we see a number of different APIs, which you can see listed on the bottom. And on the top, you can see the traffic that's going to those APIs. We can see it across different timescales. We can zoom in on a particular API. Here, we zoom in on the core API to see the traffic for it. We can zoom in on the registration API here, and we see the traffic for that particular API. Here that we see the traffic for today, we can choose a different time scale. For example, the last seven days to see the traffic for that. Once again, as in the system statistics, for our API service performance, we can zoom in on a particular time. We see the messages, processing time, min and max, and average for our APIs. In this way, the API server provides you with fine-grained information about how your APIs are performing. And you can also export this information to a PDF. The Generate PDF button simply creates a PDF within the interface itself. And then once it's generated, we simply click on it to download and view our PDF. Here we see a PDF that's generated of the report which we were just looking at. We see here the API performance, average, min, and max for the particular APIs. Whichever report you're looking at in terms of the parameters, that's the PDF which will be created. And you can also save these as a report, which we'll see later, to run and have it automatically be emailed. Here we can save a copy of our PDF on demand from the interface. If we go in and look at our different API services, we can also see here the traffic, the successes and failures for particular APIs. Again, we look at the registration API, the core API, so here we see all the traffic that's going through and any messages which may be blocked. You can also see the clients which are accessing the APIs. So if we go to the registration API, for example, now we see a list of the different clients that are accessing that API. This is where we can look at particular APIs and see the clients that are accessing that API. Here we see the registration API and we see the number of clients listed for that particular API. In a similar way, we can click in on different APIs. For example, here the core API, we see the different clients listed, the number of messages they're sending through that API, and the times in which they're hitting it. If we click on the Clients tab, we see the information presented in a different way. Here we can zoom in on particular clients and see which APIs those clients are accessing. So this is very useful to see the client behavior in terms of which APIs particular clients are accessing what times they're accessing it, and the successes and failures. So here we can see that we can see the services that are being accessed by the clients. So let's zoom in on some of these. So if we click in on one of the clients here. We see this particular client has been hitting the data X API. Another client's been hitting the VDIST API. And we can click in on another client. If we want to see what API they're accessing. This particular client's hitting the upgrade API. So this is a very useful way to see exactly what your clients are doing with APIs. On the remote host tab, we can see from the point of view of the machines which are being accessed by the API server, how fast those are running, the data in and the data out. These are the particular API hosts which are behind the API server. The API server sees this information. It's recorded and you can also pinpoint different times as well, and see the response time which your servers behind the API server are delivering. We'll see later when we look at the protocols, 
This doesn't have to be HTTP only, it can be other protocols too. We can see the average response time. We see it also graphed over time. And similarly, as we saw earlier, you can create a report. With this, you can schedule a report. You can also export it as a PDF. So here under protocols, we see the different protocols that clients are accessing, be HTTP, GMS, and others. Under the audit trail, we can zoom in on particular messages, see the message ID, and see the path through the policies within the API server for that message. On the reports, this is where we see the report which we scheduled earlier. This is the report on remote hosts, which is scheduled to be shown as a PDF generated manually. We can also go in here to the interface and we can have this be emailed to somebody. So here you would type in an email of someone to receive this PDF report. It could be their email or you can put in a group email as well. If you have an email list which you want the PDFs of the API server information to be sent to. For example, you might have a group that's very interested in the performance of particular APIs. You can schedule these reports to be generated at certain times. So the PDFs can be generated at certain times and then emailed. This can be done automatically or it can be done manually. Here we also see the report design. So you can see exactly how the report is going to look like when it's going to be sent out to the API server users. So in this demo, we've seen the Vordell API server analytics, we've seen the web interface, we've seen the degree to which you can customize reports, and we've also seen all the valuable information about how your APIs are being used.